Hey guys, so we're gonna make a little video today and we're doing a tour of the hamster cages. So we're gonna see them. So this is almost here. This is Woody's up here. Now, you have met Woody, you have met Almo. Um, well, you will have soon because we're gonna be making a video on Almo and you guys are gonna be so excited for it. Um, but yes, so we're gonna do a little tour of their their houses, their rooms, whatever you want to call it, their cages. Um, but yeah, so a little little backstory. So what we're gonna talk about is about Almo to start with. So Almo is 11 weeks old. Um, I adopted him, which you'll have seen in Almo's story, big thing. But he is an adoption from Pets at Home and he's a Syrian. So as soon as I got him, I was like, oh no, I've got another hamster at home. So I had to get this one, this little cage up here, and I put Woody in there. Because Woody's only a little bosky, she's so small. And she's only been in that for a week. So I transferred her into this because I bought this just yesterday. So yeah, basically, almost in here. And he's a happy, content hamster. And no doubt we will get some sort of people being like, oh, shouldn't have your hamster in that size cage. Fuck off. Absolutely fuck off. I don't have the room to have a bigger cage. This is the biggest cage I can get. It's in Alaska and it's fucking huge. You can also see Indy. It's Indy. She loves to sit in my room. First off, we've got a climbing frame. Um, I will link that in the description. I think I got it on eBay or Amazon, not too sure. We also have another climbing frame, which is his favourite one, he's not too keen on this one, but yeah. We also have his sand bath down here, which is where he also likes to poop. It's one of those fishbowl things you can get from Poundland. I turned it into a big sand bath. We have one of those climbing frames, again. We also have a ball at the back, which is filled with a bedding, and it's got like a little ladder, let's see. We also have a little birch thing up there. We've also got a mat. I've also got paper bedding up in here. So yeah, that's how that is. We've got one of the Trixie Beals. This is, I think it's 12 or 13 inch. I'm not too sure. It's fucking massive. Um, we've also got a little hideout here. It's a little pumpkin. And if things would just let me record properly, it would make my life easier. Um, we also have some play sticks which are now turned into a little hideout for him. We also have a carrot stick house, I'm not sure if we can... Are we able to see this yet? Yeah. It's one of those little edible carrot thingy houses. Yeah. have got a hideout up here. We've also got one of these water bottles. This is a Pets at Home one. It's basically like the Eco Living World one, but it's the same thing. I just I couldn't get the Eco Living World one on the Pets at Home website because it was sold out. Um, this is his food right now. Um, he's got a hideout over there. The thing behind that is just a bunch of toilet roll things stuck together. Um, yeah, he doesn't like it, so I'm removing it soon. Um, we also have one of those bell things that are for rabbit, eh, rabbits, for birds, and he does like to play with it. He thinks it's cool. <laughs> um, but other than that, I think we've also got a ladder here, which is kind of useful for him to climb up because he doesn't like the slide thing that you get in here. He doesn't like that. So yeah, um, the bedding materials we've got. So we've got um, paper pellets. We've got sawdust I think it is or whatever you want to call it I can't remember off the top of my head but it's something like that we've also got some toilet I think it's kitchen roll but it's non scented that's been scrumped up for him and yeah that's pretty much almost cage he's cage it's not as exciting as almost just yet we've got her food her water at the side we've got one of these cool tunnel hideout things Oh, I can hear him moving around. Um, we've also got like one of those play things, a chew toy thing. She's also got her lovely wheel. Um, I'm pretty sure this one is uh, eight or nine inch. I can't remember. Um, oof, right. Also got her sand bath up in here. Got a coconut hideout thing, little house. 
got one of those tricksy, I don't know what they're called, ladder things. Also got one of those, what are they called? Uh, one of those things that they jump in, I can't remember, this thing here. Um, we've also got some more sticks, play stick things. She's got a tunnel that goes under here and goes all the way through there. Um, this is a plastic thing that she likes to hide in. It's basically like a dig box but it's turned around the other way and she uses it to hide in and sleep in. She's also got one of those hideout things. One of the rosewood ones. Um, she's also taking some bedding upstairs. Oh, I think last night she must have been playing around to find out what everything was. We've got a ladder thing. Or a bridge, what we're gonna call it. Um, we've got a hideout here. We've also got a hideout at the back. So hopefully you enjoyed this video, and yeah, I should be sure to update you with some more cool videos of the hamster cages. If I ever do any like themed ones, which I don't think I will. I like the way that these are set out now. It's something that I can use, and I feel like it's probably kind of a cool thing to have up in here. Yeah. So I shall leave all the stuff in the description for you guys. I'm not in focus. Um, so I'll leave the hamster cages, like these are the Alaskas, and I'll leave it where I got it. Um, I'll also put in some of the like hideouts that I've got that I know that you can get for sure still. Um, yeah, I think that's it. So hopefully you enjoy it and I shall see you again later. Bye!